Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your game settings and get the most out of your computer for Marvel Rivals. So there's a lot of cool things you can do here, which will help increase your frames per second and reduce any kind of stuttering, as well as just improve the overall performance. But let's get started. Let's go to the cogwheel at the top right, head to the settings menu, and first off, in the display tab, you might be in borderless windowed or windowed mode. And if that is the case, changing it to full screen will help your computer know to give more resources to this game. Another thing you can do to help that is by going into game mode for your computer so just search this in your search bar and you'll notice that you could turn this on or off keep that on and then go down to the graphics setting here scroll all the way down to marvel rivals or just search it right here and make sure that this is on high performance so my computer knows to not put it on power saving but just make sure that it's not doing that because that will reduce the amount of resources that the game gets next up depending on the type of graphics card you're using i highly suggest you select the right one for your computer in my case i'm using an video card so i'm just going to keep it at that next up is super resolution mode changing the default quality here to something like ultra performance. So you have to scroll all the way down this list to get here, but doing this can really help improve how fast your game runs. You can also reduce the super resolution sharpening a bit too. This will change the image of the game a bit, so I highly suggest you play around with that and just make sure it's the right feel that you want for the game. Now they say that the frame generation mode is supposed to help improve your frames per second, but this is only if you're using things like GPU hardware acceleration in your computer. And personally, I've tried setting this up, but it hasn't worked properly for me. It actually drops my frames per second. So if you are noticing that issue, I highly suggest you just turn that off. Things like keeping on show frames per second can really help. Even the network stats, if you think that that is the issue here. And if by whatever reason you think the network is the issue, head on over to other and run diagnostics and run this diagnostic per the server to see where your issue is. And you might be able to fix it that way. While I'm on that, make sure you're connecting to the right servers here too. Just because my Oregon server is like way better than going into anything like even Dallas or North Virginia. So choosing the right server definitely helps. But let's get back to the game settings. So back at the display tab, if you are noticing any kind of stuttering in this game, I highly suggest you go to limit frames per second and make this right underneath the number that you normally get. And doing this will really help your computer not spike out as you're playing the game. Next, I highly suggest you don't press optimize here and you actually make everything low. So to make this easy, just make sure you select low here and it'll turn on things like SSGI and screen space reflections. You can run with this and typically it actually runs pretty fine if you do this. I just mostly would recommend you don't use Lumen GI because Lumen GI definitely reduces your frames. I don't really notice much of a difference so I'm going to keep both of these off. And then everything else here you can be at low except at model detail you can even make this performance. And honestly there isn't much of a difference from how the game looks from the low settings to the high settings. So doing these can dramatically improve your performance. There's also VSync which can really help with screen tearing for your game. But if you are using something similar in your computer like G Sync, then I highly suggest you just turn this off. Something that can also really improve your game is by going to the keyboard settings right here and go to communication tab. Change the sections from four to eight just so you have more options of what you can say to your team. And then another thing you can do is go to keyboard and combat. If you change the top left here from all heroes to whichever hero you like to play the most, there usually is some other options in that hero that you might have not even known. So for instance, for Captain America, if you scroll down to this hero section in the combat area here, you have the option to show allied health bars or not but with this hero it's really effective to keep that on and then there's things like hold the dash or hold the raise shield but there's tons of different settings for all the heroes here so there might be something here that can improve your game too lastly to help see the characters just a bit easier i find either the pink or the yellow to be a bit easier to see just because there's a lot of models that are red in this game and i just find the pink or the yellow to just stand up just a little bit more and this really helps for those fights where there's tons of different enemies you can select a lot of these settings take a lot of trial and error just to see what works best for your PC. And oftentimes, whenever my game isn't running properly, it's usually because I have other things on my computer running. The worst being the recording software I'm using to make this video. Anytime I leave that on, then my game definitely drops in frames. But if you do suspect that that could be the issue, I highly suggest you go into Task Manager and filter everything by either the CP load or the memory load. Oftentimes, Google Chrome can take so much memory, and sometimes ending that task can really improve your performance. All right, that's it from me. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please drop a like on the video and please subscribe to my channel to see more great Mobile Rivals tutorials just like this. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.